Shalom, shalom. March 20th, 2022. This is part two of my Bad Milan review. Um, I know your eyes is focused on Ukraine, okay? But your eyes, like I told you before, you got to watch Israel. That is the stone that is trying to be lifted, okay? You got to watch Israel. If you haven't seen the diplomatic moves that the United States have been doing, first, this is a while back. This happened maybe a year, year and a half ago. They sent the CIA, CIA director over to Israel. They had their talks, came with their solution. They went to uh, Ukraine. Then he went over to Poland. Um. There was another stop he went to, too. I forget the itinerary, but he went to four different places at that time. Came back. Then they sent Law, uh, General Lord Austin over there. He made his statement um, over there at the United, uh, over there in Germany, uh, in Warsaw. He made his statement over there. Then he went to Italy, came back home. At that same time, you had Nancy Pelosi talking to Pope Francis and Joe Biden talking to Pope Francis. You had that going on. You have the talks that's going on in Rome with Iran. Okay. When they came back to the table for the JCPOA, they had to go to France. So the United States is not even in the presence of their enemies. They have no table with their enemies. This is through mediation. That means they don't have a strong and upper hand. Psalms uh, 82, I believe it is. Yea, dog walk through the valley of the shadow of death. You uh, prepares the table in, my, uh, be in the presence of my enemies. That table is a table of negotiation. That means you have a hand of strength. A, sh a hand that is strengthened by the favor of the Most High. United States is not even at the table with Iran. Again, you have Russia at the table with Iran and Russia at the table with Israel talking about Ukraine. Now, soon we're going to hear from Zelensky, who's been drumming up the emotions of the people, lawmakers, uh, those who are useful and not useful. Lawmakers who are going, making decisions based off their emotions and not the facts, okay, to get their vote. They have to get their consent, okay? They have to get their consent. So they bring up their uh, war heroes, Churchills, and, 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 and old uh, things that have happened that they felt like there was a victory there or a solution there. To get them emotional about making a decision. A decision to what? A decision to go to war. You also got Saudi Arabia cozying up to Assad. What happened to Assad? Remember, they had to out they had to oust Assad. And it's still Assad is still on the chopping block. They couldn't do it. Russia intervened. Now they want to cozy up to him and slip in through the back door. And soon I'll be talking about that, uh, about the palace of the Antichrist that is in that area. Okay? That's a whole nother lesson, a whole nother topic of time. Um, but you should know about the palace of the Antichrist. Anyway, they have to get Syria in a neutral stance. Or they have to get Assad move out the way so that they can have a footing over Damascus. Because Damascus is where Hamas and other weaponry comes through Israel. But there is also another place that they have to worry about too. And that's called the place of Corazon. Okay? Corazon in Afghanistan. That is a place... That is building its uh, arsenal or has.
has a million dollar arsenal, who has sold some things to China and some things to Russia, military equipment to Russia, <laughs> after the Afghanistan debacle. <laughs> That's going to be used against Israel in due time. Now, Turkey is in the middle of this. Remember, this is war of Gog and Magog, Tubo, Meshach, uh, uh, put Libya and Egypt, these places, okay, North Africa, uh, Central Africa, and the steeps of Europe, or the steppes of Europe, okay. And then you also have Rome on the opposite side. And all this is being threaded with Morocco making, making uh, open door policy for Israel. And that is a blessing in disguise for us Moors e, um, or Ebri or Hebrew okay, or Israelites. Okay? That is the blessing. That is the corridor that Morocco is now having talks with Israel. Yeah, because those who are left, when the ships of Tarshish come on their shores, they're going to be looking for you. They're going to be looking for you, Ebri. More. They're going to be looking to come and get you, to take you to your homeland, to Jerusalem. To set you up in the great houses and palaces that have been decimated and cleared out of uh so-called uh, Zionist powers, okay? They're going to look for you to put you back in the land. They So much so, they're going to carry you on your shoulders. That means it's going to be little ones that's going to be going through. And those who will be able to get through the wilderness, if you don't know where the place of safety is, it is Petra, Jordan, okay? Uh, maybe I'll pull that out and, and show you the wilderness, the place of safety, um, that some people will be going in the transitional time as the Most High is sending out his forces to look for the rich and powerful elite. Because when that book is open, they say, fall on us, paraphrasing, and hide us from the face okay, of his majesty. They already know. They have an opportunity just like we have an opportunity. To turn from their wicked ways. In fact, it's more so painful for them. This is why the Messiah, I'm paraphrasing, the Messiah, the Messiah says, it's easier, okay, for a camel to go through a, knee, a threaded knee, uh, uh, needle's head than it is for a rich man to uh, repent and turn from his wicked ways. They're not ready to give up. And a lot of them know or they have access to the information and the knowledge. They have a brain. In fact, they have 10, 10 20 brains in their little circle, in their little cubicle, who, the, who can bring the access and the information and the knowledge to them. And they have an opportunity to make a decision. They have an opportunity to make a decision based off knowledge and not ignorance. See, the poor, we have to make an opportunity based off of knowledge, but in a state of ignorance. The rich have to make a uh, decision based off of knowledge and uh, knowledge on knowledge, okay? But they have a hindrance because the knowledge that they have, right, will cause them to have to change their thought process and values. Meaning that I have to bring them down to uh, not ignorance, but a state of faith. And a lot of rich people uh, have their faith in riches, fame, fortune. That's just where they at. But I want you to keep your eyes on Israel. Now that you're awake, get you some eye salve. Okay, you should look that up. Eye salve, get you some eye salve. <laughs> not literally, but spiritually. So that you can see your way through this darkness. Peace and blessings to you. See you on the next one. Shalom.